Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a dual uh, access bar chart using R. Uh, specifically I'm using R Studio and R version 4.2, but this probably will also work with uh, some earlier versions. Um, the example I'm going to need is uh, the GSS, General Social Survey 2012, slightly adjusted by myself for purpose of examples. Um, so I'm going to load that data in. Um, it's 1974 uh, people who answered on 706 variables. I'm only interested in one. In this case, the field is the accounting, whether or not that was scientific. And that's going to be my data that I'm there for. My data, the data frame, and then the field. So that way I can quickly refer to those. Now to get an impression and also for the chart itself we can use the table function so here's table of that chart data and then we can actually see what uh, how this was actually distributed so around 300 people don't think it's scientific and between 100 and 200 are on either pretty or very scientific now we can easily create a regular bar chart from this by using the bar plot option and here we have a single bar chart with all the data in it. Now we'll also want to see the cumulative count so I'm going to store those under um, come frequency so you can just use the function come sum which is actually calculating cumulative frequency which means just to keep on adding up so it's 307 for the first one 307 plus 348 is 655 at 199 you get 854 854 and add another 100 and you're at 954 I want these as percentages so I'm gonna uh, take those cumulative frequencies and divide them by the sum of all frequencies to get my cumulative percentages now to plot these as well I can just use the plot function say that I want to see the cumulative percentages um, the B indicates that we want to see a line um, and a dot, so basically both, and that's where the B is coming from. And let's just make the color red, so just to so it pops out a little bit more. So here's the uh, graph of the cumulative percentages. Now we want these both in one, so I'm going to actually uh, need a few additional steps there. I'm first going to set my margins. Uh, for uh, bottom left top and right and I'm going to store that under OP then uh, run the bar plot and um, I'm going to set that we want the new diagram to be in this same one so it's going to be added on top of the one I'm seeing right here and then I'm going to add that cumulative percent and that should add it in on top of the one I had. Now notice that this starts at 0 0.5 and ends at 4.5 because we have one, two, three, four categories. And I'm simply adding a half and subtracting a half at the beginning so that it nicely has the dots over the original plot. Um, if I zoom in, you can see what it looks like right here. A few additional tweaks just to make things look nice. Uh, we can add some text to it um, so that we know also that these are cumulative percentages and that's going to be on the axis side 4. So I want to see actually that axis and then plot the whole thing. So now if I zoom in we have a nice diagram. Alright, um, this can actually also be done using ggplot. Uh, but I'll save that for another video. I'll quickly run all the code so you know what that might look like in the end. Uh, this should all work. And that looks slightly nicer perhaps. Um, but that does require ggplot. Um, Alright, I'll leave a link to, the, to my website where you can download this R script in case you're interested. And thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful.